Hey, welcome to A Course in Miracles. Today we are on Lesson 218 of 365, reviewing Lesson 198. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. Lesson 198, only my condemnation injures me. My condemnation keeps my vision dark, and through my sightless eyes I cannot see the vision of my glory. Yet today I can behold this glory and be glad. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. So let's go back and first paragraph, injury is impossible. And yet illusion makes illusion. For you have believed that you can injure and the right you have established for yourself can now be used against you till you lay it down as valueless, unwanted, and real. And as I go back and I think about kind of my feelings in situations where I did feel morally injured or, or mentally injured and in turn would, I guess, pass that along. And so it, it, illusion is scary, especially when you believe it. And I believed it for a very long time. Um, moving down here, uh, going down to the stillness of yourself remains unmoved, untouched by thoughts like these and unaware of any condemnation which could need forgiveness. Dreams of any kind are strange and alien to the truth. And what but the truth could have a thought which builds a bridge to it that brings illusions to the other side. And how I interpret that is the self always remains. Uh, the exile, the, the one who keeps the receipts, that archetype that I was talking about. I think I couldn't remember it the other day. Um, that there might be one thing that that changes and sometimes when you see something so clearly that it that it moves it just completely moves something um, that previously was unmovable uh, it's it's a miracle and when you have that when you have this recognition, it then can take these illusions that you've perceived. Because once you start, it's almost like a it's like a snowball effect. That at least how I determined it. That like wow. Once I opened up this part all of these other things opened up as well, which was very enlightening. And uh, so moving on, uh, the truth bestows these words upon your mind that you may find the key to light and let the darkness end. And that's really what it comes down to. And I keep telling myself, I need to be the light. I need to be the light. Even in times where I am annoyed or angry, I need to be the light. I, I, the salvation of the world depends on me. And prior to getting to this point in, in this work and in, this, in these lessons, I, that, that statement takes on a different meaning for me. So it, it's up to me and what that means by the salvation of the world depends on me and how I interpret that is when I go out and I engage 
whoever I engage today, I may be that light that they need to see. Um, just as other people in my life were the light that I needed to see to open up the door to something bigger. Uh, do not forget today that there can be no form of suffering that fails to hide an unforgiving thought. Do not forget that there can be no form of suffering, that there can be no form of suffering that fails to hide an unforgiving thought, nor can there be a form of pain forgiveness cannot heal. And my interpretation, I, I don't really know how else to put that. When I can get beyond worrying about what others think and only worrying, or not really worrying, but only being concerned with myself and God then I can be at peace. And whatever is going on in my life, I, I can deal with. And this next part here, be kind, uh, or I'll start earlier. So Let today be celebrated both on earth and in your holy home as well. Be kind to both as you forgive the trespasses you thought them guilty of and see your innocence shining upon you from the face of Christ. And how I understand this is let it go. You know, somebody trespasses instead of automatically assuming that they're there to hurt you or whatever illusions come into your head until you are fully aware of what is happening. Don't let those illusions run your life. And that is all I have for Lesson 198. Only my condemnation injures me. So I hope that this has been a good review for you. And again, two more lessons, and then we are back into some new lessons, which is going to be awesome. So great job. Um, this one's been a long review and admittedly it's been uh, it's been tough for me to uh, stay on task but thanks to you and uh, and so many others in this community uh, you just it's okay it's okay if you uh, skip a day it's okay if you skip a week it's okay if you skip a month. Uh, what's important is getting back, getting back into the work um, because it just makes sense. And these are just such great reminders that really help to serve. And I think about them and I write, you know, some of these things down. Illusion makes illusion. Um, just things that during my the way I go about my day and seeing something like that or, you know, something happens at work um, and seeing illusion makes illusion just kind of keeps me grounded a little bit. And when I'm grounded, it makes me more aware. It makes things clearer for me so that I can make better choices, better decisions. 
So I hope it does the same for you. I'd love to hear any structs that you have. And uh, I appreciate you holding me accountable to this work. And I'll see you tomorrow.